Well, hello and welcome to this uh, algorithm on prime numbers and hopefully we should use this algorithm to try and uh, write a code in Python to help us find the uh, prime numbers of a, um, a, a given set of numbers, so to speak, so if we want to find prime numbers of in, in numbers up to 100,000, say. Okay, right. Firstly, definition of a prime number is an integer, positive integer, divisible only by itself and one. So one is not a prime number because you've got only one factor. Similarly, two is a prime number because it's got two factors, itself and one. Next, all even numbers have at least three factors. So all even numbers, apart from two, are not prime numbers. So why check if even numbers are prime numbers? Waste of time. Right. Factor pairs. Now, 36, you got 1 to 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, 6 times 6. 6, 6 is the square root of 36. And then you continue, uh, you get, uh, you get uh, uh, 9 times 4, 12 times 3, 18 times 2, 36 times 1. So in effect, you do the same check all over again, right? Now the point here being that there's no point checking beyond the square root of a number. There's no point checking for factors that can divide a number beyond the square root, beyond the square root of that number. Now take it 24 for instance. Same thing happened. Oops, that should be six times four there. Sorry. Uh, uh, because 24 is not a perfect square, so you, you can the square root of 24 times square root of 24 will give you 24. So there's no point going beyond that if you want to check the factors that divide 24 because you're repeating yourself again. Okay? So now, if we take 49, for instance, if you want to check if 49 is a, is a, is a prime number, you divide by, by 2, by 3, by 4, by 5, by 6, by 7, so there's no point going beyond that. Now, when you go to 7, straight away you decide that 49 is a prime number because if you divide 49 by 7, the remainder is 0, therefore 49 is not a prime number. Okay? Right. So, you go up to square root and then you stop there, really. So, what if the integer, what if the square root is not an integer? In that case, you round down, and in most cases, you add one just to check. Now, even numbers and odd numbers go up in two. So we should use this, these algorithms to try and write a code to help us find the find prime numbers in a given set of numbers, so to speak. So that's your prime numbers, and then that tells you. You add in the um, the uh, set of numbers for which you want to find find how many prime numbers are there. Okay, right. And then moving on from that, so you have got this one. If the number is equal to one, then of course it's not a prime number to give you false there. Now here, this one here is the square root of a number. Now you add one in some cases just to make sure that it allows you to divide by the, at least by the square root up to the square root of that number there. Okay, as I mentioned before, for, 47, for 49, for instance, you need to make sure that you divide 49 by 7 there. Okay, because if you divide by 6, it will tell you that 49 is not a prime number. Sorry, it will tell you that 49 is a prime number, so you need to go beyond 6. Now, what tends to happen is that in this range here, it is divide by 2 up to uh, just before the maximum number there. So if the maximum number is say, 7 there, it will go up to 6. And if the maximum number is 9, it will go up to 8. So you know, to make sure that you divide by the square root of that, not beyond the square root of that number, you have to add 1. Okay, I shall explain later on. Right, so moving on. And we don't put numbers, and that's a check. And if if you divide by factor, if the, if the, if the answer is if the remainder is zero, then 
that number is not a prime number. Okay, so if you divide 24 by 2, you get 0. The remainder is 0. So 24 is not a prime number. And then to return false and or, or return true in the, as the case may be. Now, this two here are superfluous. You don't need that, really. Okay, but it's just there anyway. And so, if we want to find the, the square root of numbers between 1 and 11, if you check in steps of 2, so we're looking for, looking for odd prime numbers now. That's why we start with what with A, 1 there. So looking for 1, 3, 5, 7, uh, and 9, but not 11. If I want to find if 11 is a prime number, then that's going to be 12 there. Okay? Right. So we end up with that there and it tells you whether a number is a prime number or it's not a prime number now if you want to find the number of if you want to find the prime numbers up to hundred thousand have to take a lot of time so if you want to check how long it takes then you need to import the time module and write this little code there okay well um, let's check now see what happens there now in this case here we've got Two, starting from two with the, the, the third divisor up to the square root of the given number. Now let's see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, now we do um, want to find the the, the 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 numbers, the prime numbers between one and eleven, but not including eleven by steps of two there. So we end up with this one here. So one is not the prime number. Now what happens? What happens? What happens <laughs> sorry. See what happens to nine there. Now because this number here is three, it will only divide by two and not three. So it divides by two and gives you a remainder of one. So because it gives you a remainder of one, excuse me, it gives you a remainder of one. It then says that nine is a prime number which is not true now to avoid this what you then do i should show you later on is to add one there so in effect the let's have a quick look um when it gets to nine so we look at nine there when, when it gets to nine now when it gets to nine this number here is now 4 because we added 1 to the square root of 9. So this number here is now 4. If you divide 9 by 2 and 3, but not 4. But not 4. So if you divide 9 by 2, it gets the remainder 1. If you divide 9 by uh, 3, and it gets the remainder 0. Therefore, it gives the correct answer that 9 is not a prime number. Now let's see what happens in, term, in terms of time if we look at the look at prime numbers. Sorry, we find to find odd numbers that are prime numbers between one and eleven, but not including eleven. So we're trying to check, as we did earlier, if um, one, three, five, and seven are prime numbers. And then we will also check to see if we want to look at all the numbers, including even numbers between 1 and 11, to see if they are prime numbers. Now, straight away, let's have a quick look at that. Um, right. Now, have a look at this here. This is it. This is how long it takes to find the odd numbers that are prime numbers between 1 and 11. Now, compared to the same length of time, it takes to go as far as 5. So, really, trying to find all prime numbers in a set of numbers, including even numbers, is a waste of time 
you're just wasting your time. So, I do hope all that made some sense and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and please watch some of my other videos. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.